controlled chaos here this is episode two of the whole entire idea of not using the starter ship enough of you have watched it enough of you have liked it for me to go ahead and think okay it's worth continuing on now something i did notice and tested out is i left the tutorial on and by leaving the tutorial on I do not have access to the train manipulator, making this way, way harder. With that being said, uh, we have a choice here. I can either go into the options, go into difficulty settings, go all the way down here, and where is... Oh, I have to restart over <laughs> to turn that off. Oh, that's not good. But I am going to lock the settings on this one. So they cannot be changed. Everything is in normal settings. So, but we cannot because if you go into custom, you can actually have it so that it doesn't have the tutorial stuff. It automatically gives you the terrain manipulator. So. I think we're just gonna have to go without. If you guys want me to do a restart with the, uh, so we have the, the train manipulator right off the bat. Ooh, no, we want to collect all that stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments down below and I will go ahead and do a restart because we're just at the beginning of this. I, I personally, I'm either way. But it's up to you guys. The more people that say or more likes of, of someone saying, yeah, go ahead and do a restart, then we'll go ahead and do that. Um, otherwise, we won't. And we'll continue on the, with this one with the difficulty challenge of having no train manipulator, which means guess what? We can't get any of the metals. No gathering of metal because we have to actually get the ship to get the train manipulator from what i remember it's been a long time since i've gone through the tutorial i could be wrong but let me know in the comments about that also if i'm wrong on that i'm just get around here gathering all of the boxes for the resources a good thing to do to any boxes up over here none there in there there's some over there okay excellent now we're right over here now all of these boxes see what we get it's carbon Ooh, life support always good to have some of that and another oh the hydrogen jelly okay that will be useful if we actually had the trade manipulator of what i was talking about any resources to gather over here any boxes looking i'm not seeing any so we're gonna go back to Ooh. now that's further away we do have those ancient runes to sell don't we do we sell them or are we at money wise 44. So, keep the chromatic metal. You need that. Go ahead and sell these for 4,000. Need the batteries. Got the deuterium. Okay, ship's too far away to do any selling unless. Can we actually do by ship? Yeah, it's ship's too far. Oh, helps if I hit the right button, doesn't it? I was saying X instead of C. <laughs> <laughs> Whoopsies. Uh, let's see. Nothing else worth selling. For 48,000. So let's go ahead and back out of this. Let's see if we can find a low cost. Yep. We have a shuttle anyway. No shuttles. Explorers might be expensive. Okay. That is C class. That is gay class. 
A class, there's no way we're going to be able to afford that. Let's see if we can get to this C class. Talk to him. See how much they are. Let me call for on ship. Negotiate. 12,000. Okay. Cannot do that. Now, here's another question I just thought of. I could actually call the ship over here since it's fully repaired and do that. But that would you guys consider that as using the ship? That's my question to you guys. That's a C class. Okay. Might be a lower cost. See what we have here. Negotiate 3000. It is a lower cost and could actually almost get that. So I need to know, like I said, from you guys in the comments down below, is it worth bringing the ship over here? Summoning the ship over, not flying it over, but summoning the ship over to get it here to help with the sell and buying of a ship. I want to know what you guys think of the ruling on that. I know it's a lot of questions I'm asking, but this is your guys' gameplay also. So you guys will have the big influence on how it plays out and for future ways of it being done. If it's done in the future, uh, this is my first time doing it. So instead of me just m making all the rules, I thought I would get you guys to participate in, in determining that. In the future one, should I go no tutorial or do tutorial like I'm doing this one, where I do not get the train manipulator? Those are the questions. I'm just racking up as much resources as possible. I can't get the regular resources. Ooh, you know what I could do? I could do scans. Okay, that's not going to do anything. Ooh, buried mineral foundage. I wonder if we can get that. And that would give us the money needed. Oh, don't have the terrain manipulator. That's right. <laughs> oh, bummer. Can't get to it. Okay, nothing underground. What's that? Organic rocks. Can I get these organic rocks? Okay, that's gonna get some chlorine. There we go. Doing good so far. bunch of that oh that's how we get the that's right a lot of these big rocks have the let's see what this has okay so those also have the chromatic metal good Chromatic metal. That's right. These round ones that are gray in color have the chromatic metal. The browner ones have something else. <coughs> Excuse me. Just want to get as much of that as possible. Best way to get chromatic metal that I know of. Ooh. Stuff together here. Probably already full on health. Of this at max. Okay. Go ahead and construct that go no oh, no I can't oh yes definitely make metal okay there we go open this up let's open this up All 
All right. Just mining some chromatic metal. I'm just glad this isn't a sentinel planet. And if you guys are enjoying this series, another thing I have is should we continue doing this type of thing and just keep ramping up the, the difficulty level on this and go from there? That's another way we could do this is just, oh, okay, we got this one down Founder Ship, got into our space. The series is done for that one. But then go out and do another one with the difficulty of everything moved up one notch and then continue moving that direction. Ooh, milestone. Journey. I will a thousand units. Nice. Okay, tap that. How much chromatic metal do we have? What's the price? Okay. 55 units. 4,000, 9,000, that, okay. what else we can buy, buried, can't do that, can't get that copper, can't get that, alright, scanned them, pointless, damaged machinery over there, we'll get that damaged machinery. Along the way, we're going to grab the chromatic metal. Because this is our highest profit thing that we can get. Along with getting a bunch of ferrite dust. There's that. Okay, yeah. That's hydrogen jelly. Don't need that. The hydrogen. Not the hydrogen jelly. You need the hydrogen to make the hydrogen jelly. <laughs> Don't worry, it's just me being an idiot. I'm used to it. I'm pretty sure you guys are used to it too. At least those that have watched like the live streams and stuff like that. There we go. Fill that. Yes, get that. Okay, so there's that. Oh, that's right. We need... Ooh, I can scan that. That'll give us some more money. Only 200 units, but something's better than nothing, right? Oh, don't tell me. It's buried. Buried, isn't it? I need to... We'll use that. Okay, we've already done that, so we need this. We we'll use one of our batteries. Okay. Oh yeah, that's buried. Bummer. Oh well. Let's see what else we can find. Cargo drops down here. There's always good resources in those cargo drops. Go and get the cargo drop. Maybe we can find a cave and get some more relics too. Cause that's the only way we can get into the underground is through caves. We'll service these up. Go. That. More chromatic metal, the better. I hope you guys have been having a, a good day. I know I have. Been doing a lot of work. A lot of work behind the scenes. I'm working on uh, another video that's just taking a lot of time. Uh, I've been working on it for a month. I'm working on a Star Wars Galaxies and how to play it in 2023. So that's gonna be a really good one uh, for you, for you, especially for you, No Man Sky players. And the reason being is No Man uh, Star Wars Galaxies. For those that haven't played it, it was an MMO that was sandbox. So you literally had skills that would determine what class you would be based on what skills you used. 
for most of them. I got a sentinel on me. Get away, get away, get away. <laughs> get away from the sentinel. Don't like sentinels. They are not friendly. Especially when they scan you when you're harvesting stuff. They don't like you harvesting things. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, Star Wars Galaxies, there's several different servers. One where there's a class system, one where there's a skill system that determines what class you're going to be. So if you go in for a lot of ranged combat and stuff like that and boost up those skills, you'll get to choose things like a ranger, pistolier, um, what else? Up there, okay. Uh, carbon fighter, you can be a martial artist, you can be a bounty hunter, a smuggler, bunch of different really, really cool things. Um, and so if you're subscribed and have notifications turned on, you will get notified when that video comes out. And the great thing is, is these are all private servers. So there is no cost but your time, which is really, really nice and very helpful. So getting on some of those servers is a little bit tougher than getting on others. And that's just because some of the servers you need to actually have a copy of the game. But it's really fun game because it's not like your normal MMOs where you basically go about and get loot and what crafters makes means really nothing. Crafters having low end stuff that they can make you. In Star Wars Galaxies, crafters are a big, big deal because the food uh, gives buffs. The entertainers will buff you, their players. And also the equipment and weapons that can be crafted are uh, some of the best out there, depending on how, how good of a crafter the person is. And the great thing that they've done in the game is all gear that's like equipment that you wear has a durability. As you're taking more damage and being taken out or dying in the game, your durability of your equipment goes down. And if you don't get repaired by someone, then guess what? You end up having to buy new gear. And over time, that gear will just not be able to be repaired anymore. So overall you have to i'm causing some trouble here aren't i yep <laughs> it's time to run. <laughs> run run ah run for the hills run down the hill should i say <laughs> i just want the gravitino ball for the freaking money <laughs> no harm oh it's a 20 second delay oh Come on. Run, my friend. Ouch. Run, run, run. Away from him. Get away from him. Getting away from him. Okay. Ow. Like I said earlier, I'm probably going to get myself hurt by... Just what I just did too much. No, I put beacon down for it. Oh, okay. There's the trading outpost. We're going to keep that marked. In fact, actually, let's go back to the trading outpost. Let's see if we actually got enough money. We'll sell off the circuit boards that we got, the chromatic metal that we got. And go from there. I'm seeing some stuff. Ah. Oh. Here we go. Get some salvage data that's not actually hidden in the ground. Just popped out there. That's a lifesaver there. What we get there? Nanites not really helping us out. 
let's work our way back to the trading outpost. I want to do some selling and see if we get enough money. But, okay. this be scanned? No. That's been scanned. That can't be scanned. Okay, so those big trees cannot be scanned. More chromatic metal. As much as this as we possibly can. Because as you just saw, it only gives us one. So, gonna have to hit a lot to get good money coming in. Got that one. So lucky that this rocks that we harvest give chromatic metal. It's making life easier. Yeah, it's one at a time, but one at a time when you don't have a terrain manipulator is better than nothing. <laughs> Pure and simple. One chromatic metal at a time. And I'm... Ah! <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> they got me harvesting! Can't stop to get these. So much chromatic metal here, I can't get it! I have to climb up a hill. <laughs> this is unfair. Ah! More chromatic metal, can't get it. It's done. Okay, I can turn around, I'll get that one. Bastards! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Just broke that rock by smacking it. <laughs> I used up all my jump jets, so I have to do little itty bitty jump jet jets. Yes. So that. Oh, we're doing good. Um. Yes. So that. Yes. I don't know. I normally don't sell salvage data. But because, ooh, a shuttle. Is it, is it? It's an A-class, so that's probably gonna be spendy as all hell. Bet you anything, it's gonna be millions. Make offer on ship. Negotiate price, 10 million. Yep, not getting that ship. We go. Let's go here. Just running around on the oh trader. Okay, I'll take that, and that gave us more units just for getting that. Just running around, getting us stuff. Cool, cool, cool. I'm gonna wait for another set of ships to come in because we are sitting at two hundred eighty-nine thousand. <coughs> Let me see if there's anything else good worth selling. That we have that would give us high yields of, of units. Sodium nitrate we'll get rid of. Condensed carbon we'll get rid of. What we'll keep. Hydrogen jelly. We can hydrogen jelly's all over the place. Or the hydrogen's all over the place. We can make the hydrogen jelly, so we don't need that. We want to keep that because that's not much. Not much. It's not much, not much. Okay, so we got ourselves to 300,000. Okay. So we got a hauler there. What's this? Another A class. I'm not even gonna bother asking about the A class. What's that one? B class. B class. Probably not within my range. B class. Come on. All these times I'm looking for better than the C. And I don't get them. And the times I'm actually looking for C, I'm not getting them. <laughs> Please just give me a C. You never really hear that from a student, do you? <laughs> Someone begging, give me a C. Uh, hang up there. Come on. Okay, we got someone landing here. 
freaking holler. And that's gonna be in the millions anyways. Ooh. See? B. Damn. No. Ooh. It's at uh C class shuttle. Our best chance getting out of here. Let's see what this is worth. If this is too much, where is he? Where is he? I'm way over here. There he is. You're on the wrong side, dude. Take off our own ship. Negotiate price. Need six million or two million for a C-class shuttle? <coughs> okay. What we can do. Go here. I want to put a point marker down. No, that's scan. Something to, oh, I need light more life support. There we go. Almost goes. Oh, that wouldn't have been good. C class? C class. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. See here what we have. The cost. Make offer on ship. Negotiate. 750. Getting closer. I want to put a marker down. Actually, can we make save, save beacons? Nope, hitting the wrong key. Cannot make a save beacon, cannot make anything else. We can only make a portable refiner. Could put the one portable refiner I have down and then start wandering. So let's this. This. I'm lighting like I can, unless I've already scanned it. I've already scanned it, darn. Any others? Trying to put down a beacon. Oh, there we go. There's the beacon. So I just put down a beacon there. And that was by hitting E. Er. Normally, don't put down beacons. And I'm gonna choose a direction. I'm gonna choose away from the ship. I'm gonna go through a direction and see if we can find a crashed ship. Because if we find a crashed ship, that would be great. So then just have to focus on actually getting that is not but we are going to continue gathering here there we go gathered that get away from the sun get away get away shoo Gone away. Good. I of course he's gonna hover right where I want to get the dehydrogen. Jerk of a sentinel. There's dehydrogen the right here. I'll just gather up this. And watch, he comes roaming over to see what I'm doing. Bet you anything. Still wanting to get something free from the store the $25 uh, membership for the YouTube channel every six months you get a uh, free item from the merch store and every month you will get a 
one-time use for that month of 10% off, I believe it is. And then all, you'll also get a 25% off one-time use per month discount code. The codes do... I'm debating if I want them to stack together or not. Um, you know what? I think I will make those stack for you guys. You guys are so important to me in, in growing this community. I will have those uh, codes stacked. So if you're a level 25 or uh, you're paying the 25 bucks a, a, a month for the membership, you'll get 30, a total of 35% off on one order or you can use them in two separate orders because they'll be two separate codes. Um, and they'll stack, I'll have them stack with most other discounts most there are some that are, are big discounts like if it's a 30 percent more uh discount code uh you know sale it won't stack with that but anything below the uh 30 percent sales will um stack with the discount codes and so you just want to keep an eye out for those discount codes you know you gotta be on that in order to see the discount codes you have to be on the discord server that is where i am posting them it's it's because they're in the, the members only area of the discord based on what member level you are I'm not doing anything wrong, Sentinel. Leave me alone. Right, there we go. So yeah, th this... I Like I said, I have a lot going on. I've also been cleaning up the merch store. And making it look fancy. I've added in some new designs. None of them are really No Man's Sky inspired yet. I'm still working on that one because it takes a little bit more work on making the nebula and the black hole look really good and going from there. But there is, at least the, for now, the one No Man's Sky design. And that that's good. It's, it's the... Um, Oh, was it the, uh, it's the No Man's Sky with the ra radar and it, it says, it doesn't say No Man's Sky, but it says, uh, I have you in my sights when you're viewing from the front and it's a radar with the, uh, oh, what is it? W with the target in front of you. And then on the back of it, it says, quit trailing me and it has the radar of the enemy behind them or the the target behind them so it's a real play on words funny little thing uh it's it's only on i believe uh t-shirts and sweaters is what i have it on now Ooh, and there's some dehydrogen over there signals leave me alone <laughs> <coughs> always make me stop my work Won't leave me alone. Like a pesky little bug. Okay, hold on here one moment. Bursting away. Whew. Got that. Just enough time. Bunch of hydrogen. See something smoking over there? more money always good 15k for traveling oh it's just 15k i traveled 15k so it's not gonna give me my darn it would be nice but now of course as usual i'm the one doing the most damage to myself Ooh, don't pass that up Get the chromatic mail where I can. And of course, Sentinel. Leave me alone. 
Hopefully it doesn't find this as intrusive. Okay, good. He's leaving me alone. This way. Just gonna head north. Do a scan. Okay, let's see if we can find any buildings. Anything interesting, we've gone a good distance. Cargo drop there. Plant, plant, plant. Very can't get that. Right, going the direction. Yep, okay. So, and go over to the cargo drop. Get that. Ooh, we should probably fuel up. That. Let's fuel everything up. I think we're out of batteries. <coughs> Excuse me. A good chunk of stuff here. Hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Yeah, that's not... And I saw a cave interest. I think I'm gonna go and explore the cave. Uh, cave entrance over here. No more. Right there. There we go. Cave entrance right there. But you know what? I think this is a good point to stop the video. If you enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Have a great day.